Hi, this is problem 755, and the first question is, um, through how many degrees has OR rotated? So I want you to notice the really important information right here is that angle ROS is 60 degrees. So I've labeled that down here as 60 degrees, and since there are 360 degrees in a circle, then it must have rotated through 300 degrees. So this rotation here is actually 300 degrees, and that's the A part. B part, it says if OR is 1, and so I've already um, written, draw, I've taken this little triangle, if you can see, right here, and over here I've just made a bigger copy of it so I can help you um, see what's going on there. But it says if OR is 1, so, and if you notice, if this is a 60 degree angle, then we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is going to be 30, and this is one of our special right triangles. So this side is 1, 2, and square root 3 on our special right triangle. But they're telling us in B part that OR isn't 2. Instead, OR is 1. So if OR is going to be 1 instead of 2, so I'm going to put a 1 here, then, but it's two and normally, how can I get that two to be a one? Well, I can just divide everything by two. So two divided by two is one. But to keep this triangle <clears throat> proportional, if I divide the hypotenuse by two, I have to divide everything by two. <clears throat> and that's the way you can do it. So that means that this side is root three over two. And this side is one half. Now, if you notice, though, point R is down below. And we talk about the ground a lot. So, like on the screamer, it's below the ground, correct? So, that means that this root 3 over 2 is actually going to be a negative number because we're going over one half and then down negative root 3 over 2. And so, that's one way to find the exact length. But there is a better way. I really don't like using this because it's a lot of math and we already know our special right triangles. So instead I'm going to erase all of this work we did and I am going to put it back to our beautiful special right triangle that we have here and I'm going to make it a lot easier for you. So here is the easier rule block way and that is this. If you are looking for in C part, it said, what are the exact coordinates? So C part, say, what are the exact coordinates of this? We are looking for the X and the Y. I hope you remember from class that the X is the cosine and the Y is the sine. And that's going to be our key here. Because we have angle 60 we're looking at, and we're looking for the cosine, so we want this, we want an x value and then a y value. So we want the x value, we want the cosine of theta, and theta in this case is 60. So remember cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we go to 60, and what's adjacent? Y, 1 is adjacent, and what's hypotenuse? 2. So we have 1 over 2, and then remember sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so again, it's sine of theta, which in this case is 60. So the opposite is root 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. So it's root 3 over 2. So that is the cosine and sine of 60 degrees. Now, the only difference is, don't forget, we're going to this point R right here, which is below the x-axis. So we're going over 1 half with the x, which is good. But we've got to go down, and that makes that a negative. So be sure you check the quadrant, because if you are below the x-axis, then your y value is going to be negative. I hope that helped.